Casey, you there? Casey, you there? Hey, Torst. The intel you've been gathering for me has been enlightening to say the least. Georgia is planning on a mass exile in the very near future. Many lives are going to be at risk. I have a few things to discuss with you. I know we were going to try to avoid the face-to-face, -face, but the plan I'm formulating warrants it. But appreciate your ear. Meet me in the same spot as the first time. Churchyard. Thanks for all you're doing. May. Hey, Torst. I'll get right to the point. After looking over the intel you brought me, seems like Georgia is planning to toss out a large number of people real soon. A lot of lives are going to be in jeopardy. Good news is we have some hope. The map you scored shows a safe way out of Nola. Just need to buy some time and some space to organize exiles on a large scale. Get them ready to move. I think the reserve is going to provide the opening I need. Georgia and the Tower are so obsessed with it, don't think they'll be concerned with what I'm doing for a short while. And with the Reclaim salivating over it too, once the reserve is unlocked and revealed to the world, courtesy of you, there's gonna be a bloodbath. You can count on that. And that's when I make my move. Window won't be open long though. It'll be tight, but I gotta take the chance. I don't know, May. Sounds risky. Trying to get that many people out at once without Georgia noticing? You've seen the posters everywhere? She's trying to turn the whole city against you. Maybe you should just get out with Ombra while you have the chance. You can't be serious. After all the work my daughter and I have put in to make this dream a reality, you think I should turn my back on the people I've been working so hard to help? No. I'm all in, tourist. I appreciate your concern, but we are going to uphold our promise to these people. Do or die. I will leave the key to the reserve in the drop spot for you. Lantern will be on when it's there. When the shit goes down for the reserve, if you're thinking it's all too much and you want out, come find us. The Exodus could use someone with your particular set of talents. My hope is you won't be a fool, but my mind suspects you'll be too hooked on that damn reserve pipe dream just like everybody else. All I can do is wish you good luck and good judgment, tourist. Take care of yourself. Casey, you there? Casey, good news. May said she would give me the key we need. Good news? Hell, tourist. I would classify that as fucking outstanding news. No, look, I, I don't want to jinx it, but... No, uh... You know what? I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Best not to risk the jinx. Let let's just forge ahead. One step at a time. Okay, so, um... The part to repair the final pump. Gosh, I... I... I don't have much to go on. It's weird. There's been really faint chatter about it on a few channels. that have been nothing but static for months. Uh, th there's an outpost called Bastion, set up in a heavily defended duplex home. Uh, barricades and optimal sight lines. The reclaimed currently control it. Now, the place has been a hotbed of conflict between Tower and Reclaimed for a while. From what I'm hearing, that's where it is, so... Be ready for a shitstorm. Good luck, and hey, keep your head on a swivel.
you made it. I didn't doubt that you would, of course, but my patience was beginning to be tested. <laughs> Let's start with a formal introduction. You are the tourist, and I am Jean-Baptiste. JB for short. There now, we can proceed to matters of more... Pro a threat like this seems beneath you. You made it. There now, we can proceed to matters of more profound consequence. It is my understanding that this gizmo here would be of use to you. It's all yours. Consider it a gift. And when we are finished with our conversation, I will provide you with the missing dial that you'll need to operate it. Sound fair? A threat like this seems beneath you. All right, you have my attention now. Keep it brief. I'm busy. I won't take much of your time, you have my word. We all have business to attend to. Now, I prefer to play it straight. Once I received word that you were collecting these devices, and to what purpose, I saw an opportunity to connect with the city's most illustrious survivor and have a chat about the reserve. So I made it a priority to acquire one through various means I will not divulge. And now here you are. It is my hope when I am through, you will see the reserve for what it is. Nothing more than a crutch holding back the people of this fine city from regaining themselves. You've piqued my interest. Go on. I am a firm believer in the greatness of humankind. Our ingenuity, our art, our towering scientific achievements. This reserve nonsense, even if the rumors about what may be inside it exceed our wildest dreams, the bounty will only prolong our addiction to survivalism as the only path in life. It will stifle our creativity. It will eventually lead to our withering doom. Now. This is the proposal that I have for you. Continue your search for the reserve, and when you unearth it, which I have the utmost confidence you will, destroy it. These four numbers will disable the entire flood contingency system. Mother Nature will rage through the reserve and take care of the rest. One, zero, zero, six. Flood the reserve and set us all free. Give this still glorious city the jumpstart it needs to refocus on something much grander than mere survival. Grant us hope, tourist, and thank you most sincerely for hearing me out. And let's keep this chat between us, if that's all right. I'm not sure my comrades would see the big picture benefits of removing the reserve from the equation. The floor is now yours, my friend. Anything on your mind that requires clarity? I'm curious about the reclaimed. Yes. The reclaimed have made quite a mark on the city. How did the movement get started? After my exile from the tower for insubordination, I took to raiding their supply lines. Rather efficiently, I might add. No one ever got hurt, and other exiles clamored to join my operations. Needless to say, Mama and her cohorts were not pleased with my exploits, and they sent several communications asking me to cease my pillaging or there'd be consequences. <laughs> of course, I refused, politely. No one was going to dictate the terms of my existence anymore. But it wasn't until the tower started sending thugs out to track me down and in me that I decided it was time to send a message of my own. What's with the gory rituals? First one was a man I knew well in my brief tenure as a tower grunt. I'd even called him a friend. Trip was his name. Snuck up on me in the middle of sleep. Tried to slit my throat. Still carry the scar. Well, long story short, Trip was no match for me. I maimed him. Something awful, really. 
and I dragged his body about a mile all the way to the southern bump, which at the time was the most highly trafficked exit from the tower. I found an old oak, hung him upside down from it so his lifeblood would spill rapidly into the soil, and upon his chest I pinned a note that read, Keep him coming. And just like that, I became the most feared boogeyman Nola has seen since the Axe Man. Once I had fear on my side, the rest just blossomed naturally. Those with nowhere else to go wanted what I had, so they listened. And they learned. I empowered them. That's all people want. A sense that their lives still have some meaning. I've heard snippets about the reclaimed philosophy. But it would be enlightening to hear it from you. It's simple, really. We want to live purposeful lives. Reclaim the world and our humanity along with it. Mere survival is so petty. It's beneath us. Forcing people to focus solely on survival, it's cruel, really. I believe we must invest in a future of our own design. Life is not worth living otherwise. I have some other questions for you, JB. I want your perspective on the reserve. Uh-huh. If the rumors about what's inside the reserve are true, wouldn't it benefit the reclaimed to get your hands on it? You are absolutely correct. But once those supplies are gone, then what? The same old fruitless pursuits. And there is the very distinct possibility that the tower gets to it before we do. The only way to guarantee this city will move forward in the proper direction is to remove the reserve from the equation entirely. How did you find this code to flood the reserve? One of my scouts came across the corpse of a National Guardsman in Rampart High School. The body had a manual for a bunker's flood defense system. I put two and two together. Why choose me to destroy the reserve? Because you're the one best equipped to find the accursed place, and I trust you will do the right thing when you do. Call it a hunch. I have some other questions for you, JB. I've heard enough. Fair enough. Then we are finished here. The Dow has promised. Godspeed, tourist. meet, tourist. After all the hype, you're not exactly what I expected. Thought you'd be more put together, a bit more danger to your presence. Sorry to disappoint, lady. Good thing I'm not too concerned about what you think of me. You should be, fool. Your life may depend on it. I'm Georgia. Maybe you heard of me, maybe not. I could give two shits. What does concern me is the man inside the building you just stepped out of. The time has come to silence him once and for all. Cut off the head that won't shut up. Rest of the reclaimed fools will fall back in line. Then us tower folk can get back to doing what's right. Without all the noise. He's all yours. I won't stop you. This is where you come in, Big Shot. I'm gonna offer you an opportunity to be a hero. You game? That depends. What the fuck do you want me to do? Quit fucking with me, fool. You know what I want. March back up into that house and kill JB. 
prove you are worth more to the tower than the cockroach you've been so far. And in return, all your fucked up transgressions will be forgiven. If you happen to find yourself in the midst of our onslaught on the reserve, tower troops will have your back. You have my word. I take no issue with killing JB. Consider it done. No nonsense. I dig it, tourist. I'll let you get to the deed. We'll be waiting, right here. But don't keep us waiting too long. My patience has a limit. Out for a stroll? You've returned. To what do I owe the pleasure, tourist? The tower wants you dead. And I decided to make it happen. No offense. None taken, tourist. This wouldn't be the first time I've stared down death. I'm not going to beg for my life or even try to talk you out of doing what you think you must do. We all have our role to play. This must be yours. However, I know you are not lacking in intellect, nor are you a lackey of the tower, so I must question your willingness to follow through on your threat. A threat like this seems beneath you. I'm all ears. None taken, tourist. This wouldn't be the first time I've stared down to... <laughs> Take much care of that fool. That loudmouth JB blathering over the airwaves. Thanks for taking him out, Taurus. JB is dead. The tide has fucking turned. Thanks for doing what needed to be done. From this point on, just keep steering clear of the tower, and there won't be any issues between you and me. I'm not a fan of issues, in case you couldn't tell. And when this shit with the reserve pops, I'll make sure tower troops have orders to steer clear of you. Thank you, and goodbye. Maybe our paths will cross again. Maybe not. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Personally, I think you should follow us out of this doomed city. Like I said, you will be an asset to the Exodus. But you need to follow whatever story resides in your head. Just know that you are a part of my and Ombra's story. Along with the stories of a couple dozen folks who might have been dead by the end of the week if it wasn't for your efforts. Amber wanted to give you one more drawing. I think she hopes it'll sway your decision. Hey Casey, how's it going? Oh hey tourist. Honestly, I'm a little freaked out. What's bothering you? It's just... I'm so close to getting out of here. And the closer I get, the harder it is for me to imagine what it's gonna be like out there, you know? I mean, I, I know it's not the same world it was before I was locked in, and, and I can accept that, you know? But it... It seems like, in order to make it out there, 
I'm gonna have to become something I'm not. Violent. Ruthless. Willing to hurt anyone for even looking at me sideways. It's simple, Casey. Adapt to the violence. Embrace it. Or die. Is that what you did? Huh? Uh oh, were you always the way you are? A and yes, this is me freaking out a bit. But there's a big part of me that's scared to meet you face to face. I mean, look, I, I don't really know you, but I know what you're capable of. And frankly, it turns my stomach when I really think about it. You'll see. I'm not scared, Casey. You just don't want to fuck with me. That's all. Thanks for the advice. You know, I gotta hand it to you, tourist. A conversation with you is always enlightening. Even entertaining sometimes. But well, that's about all I can handle right now. I'm gonna take a few minutes to myself. I'll talk to you later.